Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your love and relationships reading in celebration of Valentine's Day and Valentine's week. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is around a family member or somebody that you consider to be family at this moment in time. There might be some distance between you guys. So this is for a reading about um, any kind of relationship. But yeah, I've got a lot of family vibes here, but it doesn't have to be. It just feels like there's somebody, there's two tens here. So, which is, is actually a lot of love here between these two, um, interestingly, beautifully. So any kind of relationship, also very excited to let you know that I do have a sale on tarot readings, 20% off. So check out the link below if you're interested in that. So let's see, very intense energy coming in this week with Mars conjunct Pluto and, oh, we've got the two of cups, beautiful, and the seven of cups. Okay. I feel like this is actually quite beautiful energy here, Taurus. I have to say, I feel like there's a beautiful dedication. But there's things between the two of you that, like I said, there's a di either physical distance or there is something that, it, a distance that's growing in some way or that there is a little bit, you know, sometimes it can be very subtle, but there's, it's like, I don't want to emotionally get caught up on that or emotionally dwell on that too much because the challenge is I feel like you both sort of really you're there you're here for this you're, you're both as dedicated to this relationship but the challenge is uh, what other people are saying that there's a lot of voices around you or the voice of the saboteur or the voice telling you that something's not right with this or worrying or you know, it's those little voices in your head that start undermining you in some way, shape or form. Um, this could be other people undermining you as well. This could be other people getting in somebody's ear and going, hey, you know, there's something not right here or there's something, you know, whatever it is that's coming up, that little voice of doubt or, you know, we all have that little voice. But the way to move forward with this is this two of cups here, which is really beautiful. This is the card of love. This is, this is, Focus on the love. Don't focus on the voices or the thoughts or the plans or the distance or what other people's opinions are, what they're saying. Focus in on the fact that there's love here and the connection between the two of you or even those voices inside your head. Don't focus on that because we've got the seven of cups here. We have this is Psyche praying to the goddess of love. How do I get this love back or how do I reconnect with this love or how can I feel closer to this person? And Aphrodite is pointing very directly at a path and so there's getting a lot of guidance from Venus, the goddess of love here, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, as to how to work with this situation and how to bring the love or bring the closeness back, whether it's physical or whether it's emotional, whatever it is, it, it, yeah, how to do that. It's interesting because Venus, your planetary ruler, is making a conjunction to Pluto, the planet of the underworld. So it, this can be that Venus going to a bit of a dark place, absolutely. But Venus also, you know, Venus can represent love and your relationships, your love language, who and what you're attracting. So it can be very, <laughs> it can, Venus and Pluto together can be like obsessive energy or very strong attractions. It can be Venus stepping into her power and going, you know what, this is an empowered energy. So there's a lot of divine feminine empowerment that comes through with this energy. So let's pull a message from the angels. Let's pull a message from the angels coming in. And it may be that actually if there's something that is challenging someone here, this person is like a voice of support saying it's not worth putting all your emotional energy into that. You have to let that go now focus on the here and now focus about get clear inside your head about what's happening in with what's going on with you at this moment in time so it feels like this person could even be a really good voice inside your head as well helping you get clear on what you want to emotionally attach to and what you don't want to emotionally attach to so this could actually be really helpful as opposed to this four of cups which is the challenge these are the the voices, the whisperings in the head, which are not helpful. 
So it's just which is the right voice to listen to here. That is the that is the challenge with this relationship. And so we have message from the angels, take action. Absolutely. You're getting very strong messages from Aphrodite, the goddess of love, and from Venus, your ruler, as to how to move forward with this, how to bring together this beautiful connection, how to work on the love and to feel closer and to uh, perhaps, yeah, if this is somebody that you're already feeling pretty harmonious with, perhaps you can take action on their advice that they're giving you here. So it is about, yeah, not wasting any emotions on something that is not worth it um, and not letting that voice get in your head. So let's pull. I know, speaking of unearthing, I unearth these beautiful cards. They're called Journey of Love. And they're quite literally, I forgot I had them. They were very much like going into the underworld and unearthing something and going, oh, they would be perfect for these readings. So let's see, what does Taurus need to know about this? Oh, okay. We have, oh, beautiful, towering magnificence. Wow. And devotion to the small. Oh, my goodness, Taurus. This is amazing. I want to put it down. I want to look at this. Wow. And what's this other one? The cloak. Ooh, okay. I feel this is all about you connecting to your power and to your true self. This towering magnificence is really who you really are. This beautiful, it's like letting the light shine, letting you, yeah, be a magnificent in the world. But there's also this sense of devotion to the small, the small things, the things that perhaps both of you care about, being really, really devoted to that. And so this cloak energy also feels like it's very contemplative while stepping in your power. It's like you don't give out, I feel like this, you don't, it's where you're containing yourself, perhaps keeping some things very hidden and private, your private energy. This is your private space, your private thoughts, your, your private power, moments of power. And you don't necessarily have to share that with everybody, but these could be the moments that really strengthen you, that give you power and energy for life in general. So I feel like part of what this is, is is sort of like a protection, the cloak, in a way. It feels like understanding where you're containing yourself and not wasting time, effort, energy or emotions on something that is not worth it and then containing this towering magnificence within you for the people and the things that really matter. So, yeah, wow, amazing. Uh, so let's see what we've got. Final message for Taurus coming through. We've got Knight of Crystals. This is the Knight of Earth. This beautiful camel is a survivor. It's on a nose, it's on the journey, needs the water to survive. Water represents love and intuition, endurance and determination. So this would suggest that this is you know, a, a long-term somebody that's been around in your life for a long time or somebody that is going to be in your life for a long time. And it's saying you can get through this together. There is this endurance energy of going on this journey of love over a long period of time and, yeah, the determination to be able to perhaps get to where you want to get to. And so these are the people that really, truly support you. These are supporters as well, very supportive energy coming in and slow moving very beautiful night of the earth energy really suits you Taurus so again it kind of they're actually bringing me up to your mid month reading which was about reaching new potentials where there may be some things that come in that are disappointing some kind of days or results or things happening but it's just about letting go of that and stepping into your magnificence that is in the past now that was, and now, here and now, I am magnificent and reaching my true potentials, my higher potentials. And that's what it feels like there's somebody around you very encouraging that can help you reach that point as well, which is really beautiful. 
and in in a way that mirrors this relationship and where it is going as well so that's your reading Taurus thank you so much for joining me please check out my sale the link is in the description box below 20% off all tarot readings and please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments love to hear what's going on for you and take care